I know in my videos I usually talk a lot about loving yourself more and you know saying nice things to yourself and that's all well and good. It definitely is. Um, but I'm going to give you a little, well I'm going to tell you basically what happened today. So I went out, I took a walk, it's a beautiful day, the sun's out, it's a little windy. Bristol is, well it's out, I think it's always windy in March from what I can tell. Um, cold but not like, you know, excruciatingly cold. So a little chilly but um, just gorgeous, you know, it was a gorgeous day, I was smiling and saying hi to pretty much everybody I came in contact with. Half of them did not say hi back but honestly they didn't bother me, I was like, eh, whatever. But, um, so I'm walking around and I come to a four-way stop and there's that little, you know, those little lines that indicate this is where people walk and pedestrians have the right of way, right? Yeah, they don't understand that completely. Um, because at the time when I'm walking, people pull all the way up over that part. They don't, they don't even notice that I'm like trying to cross the street. And today, you know, I waited because I knew the car that was coming. I just had this feeling that probably wasn't going to stop. And he didn't. He like paused and then he went on. And then so I, after he left, after he drove off, I started walking. And there was another car coming that, you know, wasn't there like five seconds ago. And I'm like... Either they're driving really fast or I just totally missed them. And they came up on me like super fast. And I was like, oh my gosh, are they seriously going to hit me? You know, because I can only walk as fast as I can walk right now. Um, so they didn't hit me, obviously, because I'm doing this video. But they came really close. And I was pissed. I was like, walkway, hello. And I said it just like that. And I don't think they heard me. Their windows were down. But they saw my hand movements. They saw my facial expressions. They knew. They knew I wasn't happy. Um, but anyway, my, my whole point is I started saying, oh, you shouldn't have done that. I started feeling embarrassed. I'm like, don't feel embarrassed for how you feel. Let yourself feel what you're going to feel. It's okay. When I am pissed off about something, really angry, I usually, well, ever since I discovered EFT, I usually go in and just tap on that, whatever's bothering me. So in this situation, I'm pissed off about this guy almost running me over. So I could start with the setup statement and say, you know, I could start here on my chest or do karate chop. I'd say, even though this guy almost ran me over and it really pissed me off, that's okay. I choose to love and accept myself. But I might be so angry, and you might be too, that you don't even care about a set-up statement. You're like, set-up statement, schmet up statement. That's what I say. Um, so you could just start tapping. Gosh, being so angry when he almost ran me over. It scared me. I really thought he was going to run me over. And then you go to your ribs. Oh, I'm so angry. And remember to breathe. How could he almost run me over? Didn't he see me? I was right there. I was in front of his car, for God's sake. Oh. So, essentially, you would just go around tapping, talking about how you feel, talking about whatever it is that makes you angry. You know, maybe you were driving and someone cut you off. Maybe your boss did something. Maybe a friend said something. And you're just angry. That's fine. Allow yourself to feel the anger, okay? Um, and tapping is a really constructive way to work through that so you don't say something to somebody you know you work with someone you're close to that you end up regretting later so that's another thing to remember um, in those moments of real sheer pissed offness take a few steps back just tell the person I need a moment go to the bathroom tap if you can't say the stuff out loud think it think it in your head believe he said that to me. Who does he think he is? I mean, what am I, you know? And there's just some kind of peon for him to like talk to any way he wants to. <sighs> I can't believe it. I just, I can't believe it. And then once you tap through how pissed off you are, then you might be able to go back in if, if you have time, depending on the situation. You may only have like two minutes to tap. It doesn't matter. It's going to put you in, it's going to shift your energy. It's going to put you in a better frame of mind. And it's going to allow you to make better decisions. 
and not say something that you might regret. So let's say you have the time. You tap through what's bothering you. You're angry. So you can go back in and say, even though whatever it was that happened to you, even though that guy almost ran me over and it really, really pissed me off, that's okay. I choose to love and accept myself. I'm going to switch hands. Even though um, that guy, see, I'm not even pissed off anymore. You know, I'm, I'm laughing about it now because I'm like, why did you get so mad about that? Um, I know why I got mad. It just came to me. And I'm making pasta, so the timer goes off. It's the pasta. Even though when that guy almost hit me, it really scared me. It made me feel unsafe. That's okay. I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I'm feeling all this anger and fear, that's alright. I choose to deeply and profoundly accept who I am. Oh, this anger and this fear. Where does it come from? <sighs> What's the first time I felt like this? <sighs> I don't know if I remember. Hmm. And you may not remember. Um, sometimes things will come up like an experience. Oh, my hair's so sad. Like an experience you had with, you know, a friend. I just thought of when I was little and a cousin like taking a toy from me and I'm like, I don't know exactly how that relates to almost being hit by a car, but it does. It's something to do with security and safety. So I'm going to keep tapping through that. <sighs> but I'm trying to make it more general to you as well. All this anger. Top of the ribs, I don't know if you can see him, probably not. All this anger under the arm. I am really pissed off. Top of the head. <sighs> That's okay. I'm going to eyebrow. I'm going to allow myself, side of the eye, to feel angry. <sighs> Under the eye. My feelings are valid. <sighs> I am worthy. <sighs> I'm worthy of good treatment. Especially from myself. I'm going to go to the hand, the wrist. Is there another way that I could possibly respond to these kind of situations? Thumb, side of the thumb. I mean, I've seen other people in these situations and they don't seem to fly off the handle the way that I do. Unless they're just really good at covering it up. I know I'm pretty good at covering it up. I love and accept myself. I love and accept these feelings. I forgive myself for beating myself up. For being angry. If I want to be angry, I can be angry. I can go all around your head as well. Eyebrow. I can be angry. You can do both eyebrows if you want to. I can be angry till the day I die. Oh, here's my timer. Keep tapping on the side of your eye. I lost my train of thought a little bit when I had to go check on the pasta. I can be angry for the rest of my life if I choose. I can continue to react this way as long as it's working brilliantly for me. Remember to breathe and make some noise. Good job. As long as it's getting me the results I want. I forgive myself for not always knowing how to handle these situations. I forgive myself for thinking I should know how to handle every situation I'm in. Sternum. Sometimes I just need time to process how I'm feeling. Maybe that's what I can do. Top of the ribs. 
I can step back a minute before I react and see what I'm feeling. Under the arms. I am smart. Top of the head. Though it partly says, no, you're not, you dummy. Eyebrow. I am smart. No, I'm not. Under the eye. I am smart. No, under the nose. Usually other people are smart. I'm not smart. Chin. Yes, I am. Chest. I am very smart. Wrist. I don't always honor my intelligence or recognize it, but I'm very smart. Thumb. I am growing and evolving and learning. Index finger. And this is a wonderful time for me. I love and accept myself. And I love and accept those parts of me that I don't want <laughs> to love and accept. I allow myself to be who I am and to feel what I'm going to feel. Top of the head. If I want to change the way I react to situations, I can do that. Eyebrow. But I don't have to. I can stay right where I am. If the, under the eye, if that's what I choose. Under the nose. It feels good. Chin. To just let myself be. Chest. Who I am. Okay, top of the head. Say one good thing about yourself. And now. I am smart. <laughs> oh. Okay, take a deep breath. Good job. You did a great, great job today. I'm proud of you. Well, I love you all. Um, I'm going to go eat my lunch because my pasta is still boiling. It might be mushy by now, but that's okay. I'm going to eat it. It's going to be good. Well, have a great day. If you like something, like it. If you want to comment, comment. I don't know why I'm doing that and things. Probably because my blood sugar level is low. I need to eat. And if you want to subscribe, thank you. And I appreciate everything. Comments, likes, um, whatever you choose to give an email. I appreciate it all. Okay, well have a great day. Thanks again. Driving in a trance through your lost and lonely town.